I wouldn't know all what he had done unless I heard it from someone else or happened to witness it myself. A thousand suns would rise and set and still there were things Freddy would not tell us all. I learned to keep my own misdeeds as much to myself also. I, too, subscribed to karma. My mouth watered for revenge sometimes, like any young blood. The aforementioned sociopaths, the ones who lacked all feeling, those who abused power, the ones who would get an idea into their heads to pass the time in some malevolent way, just because, might find themselves on my hit list in my head. These were the ones I wanted to off. They were no good. And when they crossed my kindred spirits, well, that was it. I got vindictive in my heart and started to burn. I might talk to Freddy to inspire him to brood alongside me so we could handle them the way they handled the rest of the world, malevolently, indiscriminately with a wave of violence that would ripple out its damages across all of Oakland and beyond. Freddy usually stayed calm to my great torment, and rather than answering my cry for war like I wanted, just took me in my burn with a grain of salt and made me see the higher purpose, the karmic proof. These moments helped me see his hidden heart, by which I could honestly implore him when he got rough with himself. You're not a bad man, Freddy. Honestly, you're not.